In this example, we have a continuous time system, y of t equals t squared x of t. And we're asked to check if it's a time invariant system. Now, simply by observing t being given explicitly in the system expression, we know it can't be time invariant because a time invariant system shouldn't depend on time. And this has an explicit dependence on time because t is mentioned in the expression. But we can still demonstrate this mathematically. So if x of t is delayed by a seconds, what we have as an output is x of t minus a. And if that then goes into my system, we can find the output by replacing all references to t with t minus a. So the output, instead of being t squared x of t, will be t minus a squared x of t minus a. And we can do this again, but this time we apply the delay after it's come out of the system. So this, the output of the system is as given in the question, t squared, x of t. And if we then apply a delay, the delay will only affect the signal there. It won't affect this t here. So the output will be t squared times x t minus a. So that is my delay there. Now these expressions need to be exactly the same in order for this to be a time invariant system. And because they're not, we conclude that this isn't a time invariant system. In other words, it's a time varying system. So we can say therefore not a time invariant system. In other words, it's a TV system, a time-varying system. And that's what we expected because T was given explicitly in the expression for the system.